Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code, weekly content 340. Uh, it's a medium level problem, uh, accuracy very, very low. So the problem name is minimize the maximum difference of pairs. Generally, whenever you get this type of problem, it's sort of a binary search technique that we use. But let's see, let's see what the problem statement is asking us to do. So you are given a zero index integer array nums and an integer p. So find p pairs of indices of nums such that the maximum difference among all the pairs is minimized. Okay. Also ensure no index appears more than once among the p pairs. Note that for a pair of element at index i and j, the difference of this pair is nums of i minus nums of j, where this mod x represents the absolute value of x. So return the minimum maximum difference among all pairs. Okay. So like this is the array that you have. You need to find two pairs. Okay such that the maximum difference is minimized. For example, I have 10, I have 1, I have 2, I have 7, I have 1, I have 3. Okay. Now what I'll do, I need to choose two pairs. Okay. So I'll pick one and one. This will form one pair. What is the next pair I can choose? So I can choose, for example, here I can choose two and three. Yeah. So if I choose two and three, what is the difference that I get? I get one. So I form two pairs and the maximum difference that I get is for this pair, it's zero for this pair, it's one. Okay. If you choose any other pair, like for example, if you two choose 10 and seven, so 10 minus seven will be three. So you can see that this is the minimum value that you can obtain. So you need to minimize it. Okay. For here also for mul you, you can include an index only in one of the pairs. Like for example, one, one, and two. So if I form a pair with these two indices, I cannot form a pair with, uh, I cannot form a pair of this two with any of these indices. These are gone. Okay. You have already formed a pair. Okay. For this one, it's four, two, one, two. I need to form a pair, obviously choose two, two. So one pair is formed and the difference is two minus two, that is zero. So your zero is the difference, right? So that's what the problem is asking us to do. Now, if you see the limits, so the number of elements that you can have is 10 raised to power 5. Each element can go up to 10 raised to power 9. Okay. And obviously the number of pairs will be less than equal to nums dot length divided by 2. Right. So in these cases, what you do in these cases, what you do, uh, forget about the technique. Okay. Now just tell me one thing. If you sort this array. Okay. If you sort this array. Right. So I get 1, 2, 2, 4. Right. I get this. Now, obviously the difference, the difference is if you, you if you choose, choose these two elements, right? So if this is the ith element, this is two. So this will have minimum difference only with, with its adjacent elements, right? This two will form with, will, will give you minimum difference only with its adjacent elements, right? So suppose I have one, two, five, six, eight. So this five, this is a sorted array. Okay. So this five will have minimum difference only with this two or this six. Now, whatever is the minimum value among these two values, right? It cannot form, it cannot give you a minimum difference with one because there is already a two between them. The difference between them five and two is three. So you have to travel extra distance. You have to add some more value to reach this point, right? So the minimum difference will be with its adjacent values. So we'll use this technique only. Okay. So if you are familiar with these type of problem, so if I have not sorted array, I have a sorted array and I need to count the number of pairs. Okay. So here what I have done, I have uh, applied binary search here. Okay. I have applied binary search here. Now the minimum difference. Okay. I have to form P pairs. That is, that is already given in the question. I have nums. I'll sort this array and I will check for every possible P. Uh, sorry. I'll check for every possible difference that suppose I want to form P pairs with a difference zero. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. It, can I form P pairs with difference one? If it is possible, then one will be my answer. Okay. So I will keep on checking and I'll find the minimum value, minimum difference using which I can form P pairs. Okay. Now, what are the, what are the options to find this, this minimum value? One is you traverse. So the difference starts from one and it goes to the maximum value. What is the maximum value? Obviously in a sorted array, the last value minus the first value. And what is the other option? You can apply a binary search here, right? So that is what I've done here. Binary search because a brute force approach will give you TLE. So you sort the array. Okay. 
left is equals to zero, meaning the minimum difference that you can have is zero. The maximum difference that you can have is the difference of last element and the first element. Uh, initialize your an answer with uh, the maximum value. Simple. Now, while left is less than equal to right, see what is the current difference that I am I am I want to check. So this is the current difference mid. You call a function that is it possible to form p pairs with this being the difference. So I pass nums, I form, I pass p, and I pass the difference that I want to test with. If it is possible, you update your answer and your window will shrink. So now you will check in this space. Okay, this you have already checked. Now you'll check in this space. So right equals to mid minus one. Else, if this was not possible, left equals to mid plus one. This space is gone. You check for this space. Finally, you return your answer. Now comes the question: What this function is doing is possible? So in this, just see, I'm passing the sorted array. I'm passing how many pairs I want to form, and I'm passing uh, what is the difference? What is the maximum difference I can bear? Okay, so n is the number of elements. Now start traversing i equals to one, i less than i, i plus plus. If the two adjacent elements have a difference less than equal to diff, that means I can form a pair, right? So now. How many new pairs I need to form? I decrement p minus minus. Okay, I decrement. I I do p minus minus because one pair is formed. Now if just see there was also a condition you can use one index. Uh, you can use an index only once. So if this element and this element, this is i, this is i minus one. If these two have formed a pair, so I do not just increase i plus one. Otherwise, what happens? I'll check for this and this. This is invalid. So I increment an extra i plus plus because now I'll check. I, now I'll check for i plus two and i plus one. So if a valid pair is formed, you check the next two elements. If a valid pair is not formed, like for example i i minus one did not form a pair, so you check i plus one and i. So you do not do this i plus plus. Okay, got it? This i extra i plus plus is to skip the next element because otherwise the next element will form will try to form a pair with the current element that is invalid because in that case the current element will have to form pair with two two indices and that is invalid, right? Finally, you return is p less than equals to zero. That means was I able to form p pairs or not? If I was able to form p pairs, then you return simple. You return true, and hence uh, this is what this function is doing. Finally, you return your answer. Okay, so this is how you approach these type of problem. The first observation was an element will form minimum difference only with its adjacent elements. That was the first observation. The second one was I, if I apply a brute force to check for every diff. Okay. Because the minimum diff will be my answer. If I want to apply it, one approach is you run a you run a linear loop. The second option is binary search. Hence, we apply binary search here. Okay, that is why I said in these type of question, minimize the maximum something. What do you do? You apply binary search. That is just a technique you generally apply. With more practice, you will come to know. Okay, so yeah, I hope you learn something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, in case of any queries, mention that in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.